What's going on everybody? It's Scott and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. Today brings us to Knott's Berry Farm. We're going to be checking out all the updates going on around the park. But more importantly, we're going to be checking out all the Knott's Scary Farm construction progress going on. At least the construction that we can see. So come along with us, subscribe if you're new here, to check out videos like this all the time. And let's go hop inside Knott's Berry Farm. We're kicking things off today here at the farm. Headed on over to Boysenberry Lane, which is the new kind of area that they have open since Boysenberry Festival. But now they have it open just in general because that's where we're gonna get our first shot of construction for not scary farm this year. Oddly enough, despite the parking lot being completely filled up, it looks pretty dead here in Ghost Town. It looks like a ghost town. Well, this area has now been renamed to the Gold Mine Trail since the Boysenberry Festival. No longer Boysenberry Lane, but it's pretty empty in here with plenty of shaded spots. Plenty of places to sit down, enjoy a nice drink, or enjoy something good to eat while watching Ghost Rider pass on by. Really dig this area that Knott's added though. Now way off towards the end of this gold mine trail, you can actually get a great look at the brand new Paranormal Inc. replacement with the massive facade. And I got a quick little iPhone video to show you guys, but it looks massive. We have no idea what this is gonna be. You can tell just how big it's gonna be because you can see it over the fence. That gate's pretty tall. And then seeing it obviously with how big it is from the side, it looks awesome. I can't wait to see detail added to it. And this will definitely be fun to track as this trail stays open, hopefully, um, throughout the whole run of construction season here for Not Scary Farm. But I'm definitely excited. Whatever it's gonna replace for Paranormal Inc. It's definitely gonna be huge and it's gonna be it's such a good replacement if they're already going to make it this large and already stretch it out bigger than Paranormal Inc. was. Well, despite quite literally everywhere in Ghost Town looking relatively empty, wait times go as high as 100 minutes. 100 minutes for the log ride, 70 for Ghost Rider, even 65 for Knott's Berry Tales. So all the people are just waiting in line right now, whereas we're just walking around with no crowds. Over here at the Wilderness Dance Hall, the home of Origins Curse of Calico, the doors have been shuttered. The last event that they held in here was of course the craft beer tasting for Boysenberry Festival. Since then, like I said, doors have been shuttered. That means they're in preparation for Origins the Curse of Calico. And obviously those windows are boarded up so we can't see on the inside. But if we go over here to the right, let's see if we can see something as far as the the finale construction goes. Nothing quite yet over here, and actually, I stand corrected, I did go up to the windows right here. It's just really hard to see from far away, but you can see there's still seating in there. It looks like they're just having catering events in there and whatnot, but I definitely think that within the next couple of weeks or so, they'll start construction on Origins once again, and it will be really telling to see once the finale starts to go up here over on the right hand side. A cool thing that I noticed is something I, I never noticed during Scary Farm, but they actually have the projection right here that shines the projection of Origins logo on the building during the run of the event, which I thought was really cool. Like I said, never seen that there during the run of Scary Farm. And that, of course, beautiful logo shines up right there on the top part. So you can see kind of the, the angle that that projection is pointed at for this building. Deep in the depths over here of the Mystery Lodge, we're in for an exciting treat this scary farm season as there's talks about a maze being constructed back here. And those talks are definitely true because thanks to our buddy over at the Entertainment Connection, he was able to get some construction shots of the maze currently being constructed behind the Mystery Lodge. Now this show hasn't been running for quite some time here at Knott's and for Scary Farm it's housed Special Ops which is the interactive zombie kind of maze experience and you know i can still reference them as mazes here as horror nights have changed in the houses but here at not scary farm they're still mazes and i hope it stays that way but anyways i'm rambling here this used to be home to special ops obviously special ops infected like i said interactive kind of shooting the zombies or running through it was very fun but there have been mazes here in the past before Forevermore has been back here, the Edgar Allan Poe maze, which was an amazing maze. I missed that a whole lot. I must say though, it is extremely exciting that we will finally have a maze returning back to this location. Special Ops was a lot of fun, but I did miss the traditional maze experience and having an extra thing to walk through here at Not Scary Farm. So exciting stuff happening for sure. I can't wait for announcement season and typically with Knott's they announce everything all at once as far as their maces go. So I can't wait to find out what's replacing Paranormal, what's replacing Social Ops in this Mystery Lodge location, and just all the juicy details. You know, since the last time we checked out construction on this a brand new pizza eatery, 
it was literally just like wood. It was wood panels, there was no detail going on at all. But since then, look at the detail that they have put in to this brand new eatery coming in the kind of newish Roaring Twenties section of the park. Well man, this thing is looking awesome. It looks a lot bigger than I expected too. Now we still don't have an opening time frame as far as to when this is opening up, but you can only expect with all the detail and whatnot, that is gonna be soon. This is definitely a huge upgrade compared to what they had before. It was still a pizza place, but it was just kind of a, a grab and go. This is gonna be more of just like a, a sit down, relax and enjoy. And this is definitely a, I would say a great step in the future of Knott's Berry Farm and the restaurant quality here and just the overall guest experience quality. You can kind of look through this hole right here and it looks like there's no interior work done quite yet. But all the exterior work is near completion. I can't wait till we start to see like an entrance sign above us. Oh wow. Looks even more exciting looking on on the inside. And you can really tell just how big it's gonna be shaping up to this whole area compared to how it looked like before. There's definitely gonna be plenty of shaded seating. That's for certain. Yeah, like I was saying, can't wait to see that entrance sign right up there, right above. So guests know that they're dining at the new Italian eatery. Yeah, it's funny because Cordy's Corner has been closed for quite some time and now let's open up here. I can't remember since the last time we were here for Boys and Very Special, so I don't really have a track of what the most recent day was for its closure, but it's open now. Let's go take a step inside since it's new renovation. But you can definitely tell it's been renovated in here. You can smell the fresh wood. The ceiling looks awesome. Everything in here looks awesome since it's renovation. I can't wait till they put like the, you know, little tribute section of Scary Farm in here. The art show that they have. I'm really digging all the new shelving and everything. Just all the different, I wouldn't call furniture, but just all the displays that they have in here, you can definitely tell are all new. And all of it is just all wood. So like I said, it smells really good, looks really nice, fits in perfectly. I love the beige, I love the brown. Also, let's just talk about, they have a Knott's theme Monopoly game. That's kind of awesome. You can even get a shirt. It's called Knott'sopoly. Funny enough, Savannah's been looking for the Camp Snoopy Snoopy plush. And we've looked all over the place since our recent visits here. Could not find him, not even in Camp Snoopy, but alas, in Cordy's Corner, she found him. So we had to, of course, pick him up. Show me his little backpack. There he is. Gotta love him. He's 22 bucks after our season pass discount. But yeah, now with Cordy's open. Oh my gosh, Snoopy, relax. I know you want all the camera time, but now with Cordy's open, you can get yourself a, a Camp Snoopy themed Snoopy. There's not a day that goes by that I don't miss Boomerang though. Every time I pass by hang time. This is such a better attraction, such a more thrilling attraction. And of course, a way more smooth attraction. I don't know if I said that right. You guys kind of get what I'm saying though. Accelerator, Accelerator is currently down just for some general refurbishment. So I'm not able to go check out how Mesmer's coming along, but I was able to see through the gates just a little bit. The finale looks like it's still up. And of course the facade is still gonna stay up. Uh, last time we checked out on the train, it still looked relatively like normal. Like it didn't look like anything had changed or anything. I think it's safe to say that we're getting Mesmer back this year for Scary Farm. And I don't think it's gonna be one of those things that they need to put too much work into putting it back up. I feel like it's all still up there. They just need to do some touches on the paint, touches on the different sets, and then it'll be good and ready to go. I definitely feel after the Roaring Twenties sections has got its refurbishment and everything, that the Fiesta area is definitely the next place that needs a facelift. Cause this area, while it's still nice and everything, I think it's definitely feels like the oldest in the park. Now obviously Ghost Town would be the oldest in the park, but that's kept up pretty well. So I'd love to see Fiesta get a facelift, maybe even a new attraction over here potentially. I don't think they got anything, but It'd be awesome to see something new come here. Nothing big or new going on with Pumpkin Eater over here. It's definitely going to be a returning maze this year, especially since these walls have not come down at all. I'm just waiting for the actual 100% confirmation when they extend the uh, entryway out and then we can kind of see the pumpkin head. And obviously I'd confirm that it's going to be Pumpkin Eater. Although, uh, let me know down in the comment section who all remembers running through here during special ops because that's just a flashback I had in my head as they're 
passing to Grizzly Creek Lodge is I remember when Special Ops was in here for one or two years. Obviously now it's a hollow scare zone, but I thought overall the concept of Special Ops being in an entire Camp Snoopy land was a lot better than being in a more controlled environment over the Mystery Lodge. I miss that a lot. I wish they brought it back. Obviously now Special Ops idea is just kind of done for, but I miss it here in Camp Snoopy. I mean, I don't even really need them to extend the walls because I can just see the pumpkin head right there. And that alone just confirms for me that pumpkin is coming back unless they're just gonna tear it down and have it be a last minute replacement. But usually with all the returning mazes, they typically just stay up. But after that quick little loop around the farm, there's one more place to check out Scare from Construction, and that's of course the depths. And we can definitely see an update on that paranormal ink replacement from the outside of Knot. So let's go head on over there and get our last construction shot. Now this is a great view of two of the mazes here at Scare Farm, both the depths and of course the paranormal ink replacement. So right off the bat, you can see the depths facade or the entryway is like it's it looks the same. It looks like they're finally starting to dress it up a little bit more in preparations for this year's event. They also have tons of different sets and whatnot just sitting out there waiting to be placed in the rest of the scary farm. These aren't all for just these two mazes. These are just sets in general for the entire event. Now I thought I couldn't see anything of that new facade, the giant facade for the other maze. However, I moved over to the side and I was able to get a great shot at the front of it. You can definitely tell that they are starting to repaint the front of Paranormal Inc. to get rid of that kind of lightning strike mural and just it looks like they're painting it black. I don't know if they're gonna paint a different mural over it to fit with the theme of whatever this maze is gonna be but they're definitely uh, repainting it to something else. But as for today's visit to Knott's Berry Farm, that's gonna wrap things up. I hope you guys enjoyed all the exciting updates here at the farm in regards to Scare Farm and just the theme park in general. We had a lot of fun here. As always, if you're excited about Knott's Scare Farm and just about all the updates going on around the park in general, leave it down below in the comments section what your thoughts are on everything. My name is Scott, you've been watching Exploring Attractions. Positivity is key and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out everybody.